everyone! How are you? Welcome to my channel! Now that I've got a hang out of uh, acrylic pour, well sort of, this is my uh, sixth pour, so probably, I've decided to do a set of cranes using this uh, acrylic pour technique. So here I have a uh, grey-blue. Um, can you see the consistency? Uh, I'll show it to you. Here, it's pretty runny. So this will be the this would be my base color. Um, I've mixed all my paints in advance because it takes a really long time to mix everything. And uh, I only use water, no silicone oil, nor floral. And here I have a uh, Queen of Crida Magenta. Right. Can you see the consistency? It is uh, pretty runny too, but not as runny as the base color, which is that gray um, blue just now. So, um, I love this color by uh, Liquitex. It's called Queen of Cardo Magenta. The color is really, really sharp compared to Amsterdam's um, paint. So here I have that Queen of Cardo Magenta. And this is um, a dioxazine purple from Liquitex too. The color is also very sharp. Can you see the consistency? So this is a bit runny but also a bit thick. I've got Buff D White by uh, Amsterdam. Um, this color is off white, so it looks like soil milk. <laughs> this would be the body of the crane. C can you see it's pretty thick? And then I've got uh, silver, which is also a little bit thick. Graphite. This is thicker than usual. And then the copper. So you have to stir your paints well, otherwise you get clumps when you pour. So this is um, copper and then gold. So my metallic color is a little bit more thick. This Prussian blue is also thick because I want to see if I can create cells using different weights of uh, paints. So let's get started. Firstly, I'm just going to pour the base color, which is the gray blue. Um, so my end motive is to create a set of cranes flying in the sky and I'm not sure whether that will happen because I've never um, came across an artist who does such um, acrylic pours before and also I don't know whether it will be successful because this is only my sixth pour so yeah we'll find out won't we So now I'm just uh, thin thinning out the paint as much as possible with a hairdryer because if you have too much paint, um, it's going to be really heavy and uh, the paints will run out of shape more. Here, I'm just going to throw the uh, dioxazine, uh, dioxazine purple um, here and there first. Um, this is just, yep, slimpy pouring here and there and, you know, hoping I'll get a shape out of it. So as you can see, I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but uh, I've sort of have a picture in my mind that uh, I want the birds to fly um, this way and that way. So I'm just going to pour the paints first and then blow it out uh, to form ships out of it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, metallic colors, not too much, because I don't want the birds to have too much metallic colors um, coming out from it. I'm going to pour the base color around the main colors and then um, we've got to touch it to pop out all the air bubbles. Now we're going to use a hairdryer to um, blow down the paint. Um, it's actually covering the top layer paint with the base color so that the paints mix together. And then I'm going to blow it back up. Um, yeah. So. Okay, and then clean it up. You see there are bubbles on their actual cells forming already. So this is just paint and water, no floral and no silicon oil. So I'm just uh, blowing it into shape. Okay, let's get some base colors. And now I'm going to blow with my mouth. So I'm using my mouth to blow um, so that I can get the precise shape and the details out that I want. 
and then I'm adding more paints um, if I find that it's lacking. I tried to do a stream pull technique but um, it's not very successful <laughs> so I'm just going to uh, use uh, yeah, a palette knife to get the shapes that I want. All right, pedal knife is the way to go. <laughs> okay, so just adding more details and feathers using the uh, palette knife. Now this technique is really hard because I'm used to, um, you know, painting with my hands and, you know, of have sketches and stuff like that but this is fluid art so this is basically just you know pouring paints and hoping that you'll form a shape um, so it really takes a lot of imaginary skills to you know blow it into a shape that uh, you want so I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out to be but um, let's yeah let's just wait and see <laughs> Now I've got the base, um, the the bottom cranes ready, and now I'm just going to uh, form the neck of the uh, top crane, then blow out uh, all the paints into details. Um, for paints that I cannot really reach, I will use straw to <laughs> assist me, which is very helpful. So this is just adding more details um, to the uh, to the birds and to your painting. Get the final end result. Wow. Just just look at how the paints flow and look at all the cells. Wow. Just look at the cells. I'm pretty amazed at how this turned out to be. Um, please let me know in the comments what you think about this piece of artwork, um, whether it's a success or not. And thanks for tuning in. See you guys soon again. Bye!